Well, folks, how are we all feeling? One week to go before Celtic are back in domestic action against Aberdeen away. But Audrey, key to here from Come On The Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be fantastic. Buzzing for this week. A roller coaster of a week ahead, you know. It's going to be a long week. We have two cracking semi-finals to look forward to. Our, one of our very own, Josip Ivanovic, will be playing against Lila Messi and Argentina in the semi-final on Tuesday night and then Wednesday night we got Morocco and France here's a little one for you Mohamed El Nusi if he didn't declare for Norway he could have been playing this final for Morocco if he was picked and if he was playing first team football he could have been playing for Morocco he was born in Morocco I never knew that you know I knew uh, El Kadore was from Morocco but it's a strange one but let's talk about Maurice Jans he done an interview with Transfer Market which is a website I use a lot a lot of people use this cracking website and he basically came out and said that Celtic is like religion you know Celtic's old school when you close your eyes at a home game gives you the goosebumps just to feel the fans he says but every time he gets a picture with fans people don't call him Maurice everybody calls him Mercedes Jens he's loving life in Glasgow 23 years of age his fiance came out with pictures the other day on Instagram of her being pregnant and I think he's just looking for a permanent move to a club where he's going to be idolised, playing European football, had the chance of winning trophies. He's on loan from a team in France at the moment and is it a case that Celtic will have the option to buy? 23, this is a guy we could bring in, establish, bring him in for even 3 million and sell him for probably perhaps 12 to 15 million. You know, he's talked about as well him trying to get onto the German national team radar. Germany on a rebuild structure at the moment. Obviously, early exit of the World Cup. Shocking early exit. So, um, Maurice Jens, is he, would you pick him over Starfelt? I want to know in the comments because to me at this moment in time, I'd rather Starfelt. I think Starfelt came onto his game in the second half of the season. We've seen the start of this season with a couple of goals he got. So did Jens as well, but. It's really a tough one, but I honestly believe with the centre back situation, if Porteous goes to Rangers, Stephen Welch should go to Hibs and Long. What an option to buy. Just let me know in the comments. I know it's a mad tip, but I think Stephen Welch, Hibs, not a bad show. You know, I think, you know, if it's a loan option, it means that we can look at our options with the likes of Starfelt and Jens if Jens doesn't complete a permanent move. He seems pretty happy in Glasgow. Regards to Josef Vijanovic, he's been he was interviewed yesterday and he came out and said that he's dismissing all these rumours. He doesn't want anything sent from from his agent. He just wants to focus on what's ahead, which is a World Cup semi-final against Argentina. They've knocked out Japan. They've knocked out Brazil. You know, they had a tough group with Belgium in it and Canada, which Alistair Johnston played. And Jovanovic's performance against Brazil was absolutely unbelievable. Tipped the man in the match. If his centre-back colleague, Galal, is going to go, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, going to go for Chelsea or Manchester United or even Man City, value that 100 million. The Red Bull, Lysip centre-back. If he goes for 100 million, and they're in the semi-finals, what will Jovanovic go for? Or Jovanovic, or Jovanovic, whoever wants to correct me in the video, which they always do anyway. I don't really give a shit. So, <laughs> um, I, I just think at this moment of time, let him do what he needs to do. We have Aaron Roy coming back from international duty. We have Carter Vickers coming back from international duty, on top of Alistair Johnson meeting up with the team. And... Days of Maida will be coming back, you know. I felt my heart went out for Maida against Croatia, but let's see what happens. No other transfer talk. Um, as I said last night with Yakimakis, I know some people are saying, well, look, it. it's not a big deal if he changes agents. We just have to see what happens. Actions speak louder than words. We don't want to be losing players that are, are obviously contributing, scoring goals, being consistent, you know, 25 goals in 50 games. We don't want to be losing Yakimakis. We don't want to be losing Jovanovic for a small fee of 10 million while he's in a World Cup semi final. So he's guaranteed two games left in the World Cup. If Croatia don't win against Argentina, he'll have to play in third and fourth spot anyway. So still brings up an evaluation in some aspects. So that's really it for me. Um, do subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you all soon. God bless. Hell, hell.